Welcome to QViews, your number one source for quantum technology news. This week, can quantum computing actually predict the weather? Well, Pascal and BASF, they say yes it can. Israel establishes a $29 million quantum R&D center. And Google Quantum AI releases the quantum virtual machine to accelerate research. Is the Google quantum metaverse soon behind? And the big story over at QViews today is Revisiting Our Sustainable Future, a TQI documentary about climate change and quantum computing. It's a big topic this week because we're seeing a lot of new progress in this space. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on all the latest quantum technology news and go to the description and look at our newsletter. This newsletter has even more quantum research, industry news, and jobs. So make sure you subscribe and all the links are in the description below. Today's video is brought to you by the TQI Market Intelligence Platform. TQI's Market Intelligence Platform collects and structures global data on quantum technologies and delivers this in a user-friendly platform. Our platform helps investors, startups, corporations, accelerators, policymakers, and governments gain a holistic overview of the quantum technology landscape. Reach out for a free demo by following this link. On the business side of the quantum technology landscape, the SEC okays D-Wave's next steps to going public. The Form S4 filed has been declared effective by the SEC. The Canadian-based D-Wave creates both quantum annealers and has recently moved towards gate-based quantum computers. And they have a cloud platform, Leap. They've been around for a long time and were one of the first companies to pioneer public access to quantum computers and sell their systems. In previous articles on the Quantum Insider, we've detailed D-Wave's plans to become public through a process called a SPAC. As for next steps, DPCM Capital will hold a shareholders meeting on August 2nd, 2022, and there approve or disapprove the business combination with D-Wave. Israel is to establish a $29 million quantum R&D center. Israel has announced the world's first R&D center of this kind for quantum computing, giving the Israeli industry and academia access to full stack quantum computers. They've selected the startup Quantum Machines to establish the center. The center's focus will be on the hardware and software of three different types of qubit modalities, superconducting, ions, and optical computers. And we have a new startup emerging from stealth. Atlantic Quantum raises $9 million in seed funding. Atlantic Quantum was founded in spring 2022 and its mission is to develop superconducting systems. The team, spun out of the Engineering Quantum Systems Group at MIT, will use new types of noise-protected qubits to improve coherence times and new control schemes to improve quality of qubits. And the money just keeps on coming. China's Origin Quantum secures $148 million in Series B funding. The business is working on a suite of offerings all across the quantum computing stack. Hardware, where they're currently offering a 24 qubit superconducting chip along with cryogenics and control systems, and software, including operating systems, frameworks, and the application layer in quantum chemistry and fluid dynamics. And continuing with even more fundraising news, and isn't summer supposed to be slow for fundraising? That's what I've always heard and experienced, but not this summer and not for quantum. Finnish startup IQM raises $128 million in Series A2 funding. This is the largest funding round ever raised by a European quantum computing startup. IQM is a Finland-based company that provides on-premises quantum computers for supercomputing data centers and research labs, led by the World Fund. One big part of its mission is to focus on climate change. According to McKinsey, quantum computing could reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 7 gigatons a year by 2035. To tackle this, they're investigating better battery solutions and new material designs. Their next goal is to build a 54 qubit machine by 2023. On the research side, we're seeing how quantum computing can maybe help with weather prediction, harnessing pure elements of quantum information, and advances on all parts of the stack for neutral atoms. First, weather prediction. Pascal and BASF have partnered together to look at how quantum computing can approach this problem. And quantum computers are a natural fit to solve these complex problems, ones with many parameters, like the weather. Pascal aims to solve the underlying complex nonlinear differential equations by implementing quantum neural networks on its neutral atom quantum processors. According to Hyperion Research, 5% of global high-performance computing investments are focused on weather modeling. So this is a huge opportunity for cost savings in computing and for measuring, for example, crop yield and potentially figuring out what the impacts of climate change are. 
following on with more Neutral Atom news, Qera has released a quantum simulation package for Neutral Atom architectures. Qera was founded in 2018 and uses qubits based on Rydberg atoms, which are atoms with very highly excited electrons. So they're very large and can sense each other over a distance of 5 micrometers. Blockade is available on GitHub and is an open source Julia package for the efficient emulation of quantum computation and quantum simulation based on neutral atoms. Check it out in the description below and let us know what you think. Laboratory Charles Fabry, CNRS, and Pascal have released results saying they could scale neutral atom architectures to up to 350 qubits using optical tweezers. Pascal, a Paris-based quantum startup working on programmable quantum simulators and computers made with 2D and 3D atomic arrays, along with their partners, have published a paper on Archive, in situ equalization of single atom loading in large-scale optical tweezers arrays. This shows the ability to scale neutral atom architectures, and this was a big milestone on Pascal's technical roadmap. And the next step is to scale to 1000 qubits by 2023. Next up, Quantinium scientists have shown that a Bayesian approach can lead to more robust circuits. A preprint on Archive, Bayesian Learning of Parametrized Quantum Circuits, reports that experiments on the company's quantum computer demonstrate that the resulting circuits are faster to execute and less noisy than the circuits trained without the dimension reduction strategy. This could be the beginning of the Bayesian Learning approach to boost quantum computing performance. Next up, Google Quantum AI releases the Quantum Virtual Machine to accelerate quantum research. The Quantum Virtual Machine is an emulator that helps you with prototyping, testing, and optimizing your circuits, while connecting with data from real quantum hardware systems. Measurements are fed from the Google Quantum AI Sycamore processors, such as qubit decay, dephasing, gate and readout errors, into the Quantum Virtual Machine, and they're combined with the qubit connectivity of the device to simulate a real quantum processor. So you get real-world information about your chip and can use that data and feed that into your simulations. Google's team has been using this internally for their own research and now they've open sourced it for the world to use. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory Researchers, or NREL, are reporting that they're closing in on new approaches to producing pure elements of quantum information. So what's a pure element of quantum information? Well, it's an element that starts and remains in a spin state and at a practical temperature. And a big problem in quantum is that these materials are sometimes discovered just randomly. The researchers wanted to create a theory and spent time screening candidate quantum materials and fine-tuning the properties of molecules. The team selected a novel tetracene theophene compound, which has a crystal structure in which all molecules share a common axis, which could lead to the generation of quantum states that are purely entangled and well-controlled. Now, with all this talk about quantum computing maybe helping solve climate change, the big story today is the TQI documentary, Quantum Technology, Our Sustainable Future, created in partnership with Oxford Instruments Nanoscience. Produced as a call from industry experts to discuss the potential of quantum technology in addressing the world's urgent sustainability challenges, it includes interviews with many of the leading minds in quantum. We are revisiting this topic and obviously a lot of talk on climate change has started coming up in the quantum space. So make sure to go to the YouTube channel for the Quantum Insider and watch the full documentary. Thanks for joining me over here at QVs today and remember all the articles are in the description below. Based on user feedback, the Quantum Insider has redesigned the website to make it more user friendly and easier to stay up to date on all things quantum, including news, data, marketing, and jobs. So make sure that you check out the new site and subscribe to this channel and join me over here every two weeks on QViews. See you next time.